Good day everybody, we got an interesting question. We have a square, inside the square there is a quarter circle and a semicircle. We are expected to find the area of this particular region. Now this question is a viral question asked in, I would say a viral question from China asked to middle school students in China and from the intensity of the question you will know the strength of their mathematics of uh, middle school students so what we are going to do is we will try to analyze this figure first and then uh, we will go on to solve this question now if you have already know how to solve this you can pause this video and give the solution in the comment box and I will give you a like and now we mentioned that, let me move on to solve this question. So foremost, as I mentioned to you, we will analyze what is exactly given here. So we've been given a square. So, so let me write that down. A, B, C, D is a square. And each side is given to be as four units. Side of equal to four units. So this is given. Next, we have a quarter circle of radii. So you can clearly see the quarter circle is actually oriented in this fashion. So that would mean the radii is going to be four units and a semicircle of radii now this is the semicircle clearly if I were to take this point as the center point let me take this as say some Q clearly the radii is going to be two units now from Q there is a tangent to the quarter circle so what I wish to do is I would like to draw a tangent from Q to say a point on the semicircle. P is a point on the semicircle. So I'm going to connect it. Now, if I were to connect it, now you will have a, a figure in this fashion. Now, since Q is the external point, from which two tangents are drawn to the quarter circle clearly AQ is going to be equal to PQ now this is by tangent theorem tangent theorem okay so because of this all important fact we would be able to solve this question with ease now what I wish to do next is to drop a line from D to Q so what is that line if I were to drop a line from D to Q can I have something interesting or is it possible for me to associate something but let me just uh, go on so I have dropped a line so I have created a triangle okay thus a triangle is created so what is the triangle the triangle is q a d now this is going to be 90 degrees right that's an all important point also from d drop or i would say draw a line 
to P. So I'm actually drawing a line. Now that is clearly a tangent. Right? Clearly DP is a tangent to the semicircle. Right? So that would mean by tangent theorem if you are drawing a line to the semicircle and it is a tangent from tangent theorem the line from the center of the semicircle to the tangent will make an angle of 90 degrees. So, you are drawing a line from the center of the semicircle. It is a radii, right? You are drawing it to the tangent. So, this is going to be 90 degrees from the tangent theorem. So, we have the following information. So, what are the following information we got? This is two units. This is two units and from D to P, this is actually the radii of the quarter circle. So this is going to be four units. Now from here, I can get the area of the triangle. So next step, find the area of Q P D. So what is this? What is the area? So we got base height. So triangle area is half times base into height. So half times my base is two, my height is four units. So four square units is this area. Now clearly you can see that the base is 2 here, the height is 4 here. So this means also the area of QAD is 4 units. I would say 4 square units. Okay. So the total area is got. Now we need to get the area of this particular portion. Right. So let me shade this now. So this is the required formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider this sector created by the quarter circle. So area of the sector created by quarter circle and to this area I'm going to add the area of the sector created by the semicircle plus area of the sector created by semicircle. Now we have got this total region. Now we need this region. So what am I going to do from this total region? I am going to take away the area of the triangle. If I were to do that this region goes away, these regions all go away, leaving us with this strip. So minus area of the triangle. So this is the all important logic to get the required area. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now foremost, what I wish to do is, I would like to find the area of the sector. Now let me go to a new page. Okay, I got a new page. So, I need to get this angle. Right? Now, let me take this angle to be as some theta. Okay? So, we got a sector like this. This is the sector we are looking for. And this is the region that we want. We want this angle. Now, if you were to extend this, this is the triangle, right? So you are a triangle here, 
and a triangle there okay fair enough now this is 90 degree okay And this part is taken to be as say theta 1 and this region is 4 units this is region is 2 units now what I'm going to do I'm going to utilize this formula tan theta 1 is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side so what's opposite side 4 and adjacent side is 2 so you get 2 so this means this part tan theta 1 is equal to 2 units so theta 1 is equal to arc tan of 2 units so this is the sector angle that we have got okay now since I know theta I can obtain the area of this sector of this particular region now you might be wondering okay this is 90 degrees so what is this angle right so this is 2 units this is 4 units if I were to take this as some theta 2 I would also get an arc tan here because of the fact that these two triangles are one and the same we have already got the area so this one if it is equal to theta 2 theta 1 is equal to arc tan of 2 theta 2 will be equal to arc tan of 2 so therefore the total angle total sector angle if I were to take it as theta is going to be theta 1 plus theta 2 which is equal to 2 times arc let me write that arc tan 2 plus arc tan 2 is equal to 2 times arc tan 2 now arc tan is nothing but tan inverse of 2 okay now this is the angle of the sector sector angle okay now what I wish to do is I would like to take this and substitute into the area of the sector now what is the area of the sector now I will have to utilize this formula area of the sector is equal to half times theta times r squared okay when theta is in radians we use this measure so area of the sector created by let me write that down area of the sector created by the semicircle is equal to half times 2 times tan inverse of 2 times radius what is the radius radius is 2 units square 2 2 gets cancelled this is going to be 4 times tan inverse of 2 what is this this is the area of the sector okay this is one part now we will have to extract the area of the sector created by this quarter circle Okay. Now we need to get the area of the sector created by the quarter circle. Now I already know this right I know this total angle of this I know this region so that is already got. Now while actually getting that we calculated theta 1 and then we calculated theta 2 right so this if I were to take this as theta theta is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2 and theta 1 has been found out to be as tan inverse of 2 followed by tan inverse of 2 okay now if I were to take this as say alpha I know this is 90 and this is theta 1 so clearly alpha 1 plus theta 1 will be equal to pi over 2 now that in turn would mean my alpha 1 can now be rewritten as pi over 2 minus theta 1 so this is the state if this is alpha 1 and this is alpha 2 clearly alpha 2 can also be rewritten as pi over 2 negative theta 1 
right? So if I were to take this total region or total angle to be as alpha, so alpha is equal to alpha 1 plus alpha 2, which is equal to, this is going to be 2 times of pi over 2 negative this region. So let me let me write this down 2 times of pi over 2 minus theta 1 okay now what is theta 1 or I would say theta anything you can take either theta 1 or theta 2 it doesn't matter so theta 1 is going to be tan inverse of 2 so this is going to be 2 times of pi over 2 negative tan inverse of 2 so this is what my alpha is so this entire sector angle is given to be as this if you were to distribute this is going to be pi negative 2 times tan inverse of 2 so this is my sector angle alpha so area of the sector therefore area of the sector created by the quarter circle is equal to half times r square times theta so in this case it's going to be alpha so which is equal to half times r square times what is the value pi negative 2 times tan inverse of 2 now the radius is 4 units so this is going to be 16 divided by 2 times pi negative 2 times tan inverse of 2 that's going to give me 8 of pi negative 2 times of tan inverse of 2 this is what I have got so the required region required area is equal to this 8 of pi negative 2 times tan inverse of 2 plus the area that we found for the sector created by the semicircle 4 times tan inverse of 2 so from this you subtract the area of the triangle 8 units okay 8 square units so you perform some simplification so this is going to be equal to 8 pi negative 16 times tan inverse of 2 positive 4 times tan inverse of 2 negative 8 now these two can be added so let me go to the next page so this is equal to 8 pi uh, 16 and 4 that's going to be negative 12 times tan inverse of 2 negative 8 so this is the right place for us to stop so I can simply state that the required area is this and please like share and subscribe to our channel until we meet again thank you everybody